Hello and welcome to Steering Session. My name is Ashraf Ayat and I'll be working with you today with one of the new features in Modbox 2010, which is the Photoshop compatibility. So, for example, if I once I uh, have a file here and I'm just going to say, okay, let's do some projection on it, pick an image size, and we just start painting here whatever the, f the file that you want to create. So let's say that we call this save and we're happy with it. You will have the ability now to do file export selection which is the texture file and now you will see that you have PSD as one of your choices as the export textures as you will see in here. So one also important feature that you have is you can do file let's say that I want to zoom in a little bit on that lady and I want to paint it in a really high resolution texture file so if I want to really get in there and I want to have a lot of detail here very highly detailed I can do file export screen to PSD uh, this will open the option for it it will export the screen size as we see it right here or you can double it or quadruple it and the important part is this doubling or quadrupling does not go like oh blow the image here that is 10 23 uh, 10 35 and multiply by 2 or multiply by 4 as you do an image sizing in Photoshop no it actually zooms in and re-render this tile and then recompile them all back in Photoshop and we're going to explore the house uh, and actually make sure that it's done correctly so let's export this screen size as is and once I hit export to PSD you'll see the hourglass start to spin once of course I'll, I save a file and what it's doing right now it's looking for the program that is associated with the PSD on launching it and here's the file so whatever application that associated with PSD will be launched at your computer so let's see what's have we have here let's go all the way to the bottom this is the background color now this is the shader the base geometry base color and on top of that enable that which is the shader information like the uh, spec and uh, gloss and then you have two layers here one is locked and actually all of them are locked except this one here that is open for you to manipulate or to paint as much as you want on it do here and do and do control s which is pretty much saving my file. I go back, jump back to my mod box, and I'm gonna do file re-import from PSD and I choose my file. But as a matter of fact, I just wanna show you something is actually is way cooler than that. If I even rotate the camera and now I'm totally in a different position, it's not like it's reprojecting again. As a matter of fact, if I do this, it automatically the first thing it did, it's aligned the camera to the original position and now it's bringing the PSD. And here it is. So as you can see, this can be very powerful because you can go back, let's say go back in Photoshop and use any of the Photoshop manipulation tools like Blur for example. This option is not available in Modbox which is the Blur tool here. So I'm just blurring the pixels or even doing uh, more here. I can just select an area here. So all these tools that's available in Photoshop, you can totally use them and just all you have to do is just resave your file, go back to my box, and do file import from PSD. And here it is. So now you have all the power of Photoshop available at your fingertips with Modbox. So this is very interesting. Now let's go back to the screen size that we talked about earlier. We have this image, which is 1035. So let's multiply that by 2. And I'm just going to do actual size and you can see here there's a pixelated area because we doubled size the image but let's go back to mud box actually the best thing to do and make sure that we get it as a right angle I'm gonna re-import the PSD to align my object and here it is and I'm gonna do so here's the file and as you can see now if we can go to the image size it's already been doubled but I'm just gonna do actual pixel and let me try to get the same angle here as you can see totally different quality you can see this is so pixelated and this is dot again so what modbox does is actually creates the camera and zooms and render it and bring so bring you these tiles and then on the fly bring align them in photoshop and bring it to you as a texture file powerful feature in my opinion at least that it opens lots of opportunity for you so if we say let's go look at uh, the texture paint itself and do export selection and we export that file as a PSD. I'm going to call her. Uh, and now I can jump back to my Photoshop. Just, I don't need these anymore, so I'm just going to close them. And I'm going to do here. And here's the interesting part. You will get the texture file. And on top of that, you will get the UV. So if you have 
any file that comes in and you want to figure it out where is that part on the mesh you can have that here as a as a quick identifier for you it's really really interesting so I can just come in here and uh, maybe retouch on my paint uh, not the cleanest thing in the world but it's just for the demo and this us just give her something so we can easily identify it with and just hit control s and go back to uh, mod box and all you have to do is just do refresh select it and here it is so you don't have to re-import it or anything you just do a refresh and it will bring it back so that's it for the uh, PSD uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this session and I'm looking forward to talk to you more